Learning to code feels like playing Dark Souls blindfolded with a broken controller. You keep dying, but instead of respawning, you just stare at a wall of red error messages that look like your computer is personally insulting you. And yet, everyone keeps telling you that coding is fun, that it's just problem solving. Yeah, if by fun, they mean banging your head against a keyboard until something compiles. But what if it could actually feel like a game? What if learning to code gave you that same dopamine rush you get from winning a Fortnite match at 2 a.m.? The truth is, coding itself isn't the problem. The problem is how we learn it. Most beginners get stuck in what's basically the tutorial hell of programming. You start a Python course, get hyped after printing Hello World, then five minutes later, you're wondering why you can't import a package you just installed. So you move to another course, and another, and another, and before you know it, you've become fluent in one language. Tutorial subtitles. The reason people give up isn't because they're not smart enough. It's because there's no feedback loop. In games, every time you beat a level, you get XP, you unlock something, you see tangible progress. In coding, your reward is usually a broken program and a migraine. That's why, in my opinion, the best way to learn coding is to treat it like a game. Literally. Gamification works because our brains love rewards. Every small win gives you a hit of dopamine, the same chemical that fires when you score a headshot or finish a quest. It's not just motivation, so instead of grinding through syntax like it's homework, you can turn learning into something that actually triggers the same reward system as your favorite game. You just have to approach it differently. Start by thinking in small missions. Don't try to learn Python. That's like saying you're going to learn every move in chess. Instead, set micro goals you can actually beat in under an hour. Build a script that renames all the files in a folder. Make a button that insults you when you click it. You're not wasting time, you're farming XP. Every small task you complete gives you a quick win, and those add up. The key is to keep the difficulty just high enough to make you struggle a bit, but not so high that you rage quit. That's how games keep you hooked, and coding can work the same way. Then, track your progress visually. Humans are wired to crave visible feedback. It's why progress bars and level meters exist. Use tools like Notion, Goals on Track, or Strides to create the kind of feedback loop that keeps you coming back every day, even when your code refuses to cooperate. Finally, treat your projects like boss fights. Each project should feel like a new challenge, not another tutorial. Build things that actually matter to you even if they're silly. A Discord bot that roasts you every time your code breaks, a weather app that complains about your city's temperature, or a random meme generator that spits out chaos. It doesn't matter how dumb it is, what matters is that it's yours. Every time you beat a boss project, you unlock new skills, confidence, and maybe even the will to tackle a bigger one. Coding should never feel like grinding for XP you'll never use. It should feel like an open world where every line you write expands your power. Because the truth is, coding isn't a sprint. It's an open world game with infinite side quests. You'll never finish learning to code, but that's the best part. Every new skill, every bug you fix, every project you ship, it's all experience points. So instead of chasing perfection or waiting until you're ready, just start playing. You're not trying to beat the game. You're trying to enjoy the grind. The best way to learn coding is simple. Make it fun enough that you never want to stop. And if you're looking for the best way to gamify your learning, then today's sponsor, Boot.dev, has got your back. You'll learn back-end development from the ground up in Python, TypeScript, SQL, and Go, all while building real, unique projects, earning XP, and fighting bosses along the way. It's like a game, but instead of wasting time, you're leveling up your career. For example, you can build games like Asteroids, or a Maze Solver in Python, or even a Pokedex in Go. You can also level up your DevOps skills with courses on Docker, CICD, and CDNs. And if you ever get stuck, Boots, your personal bear wizard AI tutor, jumps in to help. He doesn't just hand you the answer, he guides you with hints and questions to get you unstuck, just like a real mentor. All the lessons are free to read and watch, but to unlock the interactive coding, progress tracking, and game mechanics, you'll need a membership. You can use my link in the description along with my code CODEHEAD to get 25% off your first payment. This was CODEHEAD with yet another tech rant. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. Lights out.